everybody. Woo! <laughs> Thanks very much. <clears throat> Pardon me. Guys, we're going to dive right in to this. Uh, first, anyone, anyone from the Northeast here in the audience today? Okay, a couple. <laughs> That's good. Uh, pretty cold. In My Life. What a great, great track. We start off this song by realizing the melody first. The melody must be realized. C sharp to A. Right? Minor six interval. C sharp D, E, G sharp, but harmonize those last two notes. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Um, so there's our melody. It happens twice in a row, no variation. Then again. Just add some chords now. Voice in A major with C sharp is the highest note. Right? Leave the fourth finger free for the high A. So there we have like this really thick, beautiful harmony happening with, with the melody still very much intact, you know? Leave the A chord in place, walk up C sharp D E. Right? Leave the G sharp, play an E5 bar chord in the bass. E. And the same thing happens again. Right. Now, we create the melody <clears throat> for the vocal part. Now we create the melody for the first verse. Uh, e, F sharp, uh, B to an A. So now if we harmonize that with the, with the chord progression, we're going A major. Okay. Now when we play the B for the melody, we're going to voice the B as the soprano pitch of an E major chord. Bring in C sharp, sixth, right? C sharp is the sixth against the E chord. Now F sharp minor. Okay, so we can go F sharp in the bass, E in the soprano in the B string, fifth fret and then C sharp on the B string. I love that Lydian sounding thing there. Um, G, D, G, D, C sharp. So in context, that'll all look and sound like this. Cats, brothers and sisters. Rewind it. Practice that a few times before going on. After you've had a chance to work on that just for a couple minutes. So now I shall explain it. Um, B, C sharp. Right? And now I'm going to play an F sharp minor 11 chord thusly. F sharp in the bass, open A, E, and A. Throw on the second fret. Okay. And now from here, a D minor chord, but in first inversion. Ah, F, A, D, fretted A. Fretwise, one, open, open, two. Bring it in F. Though some have changed. Right? So after playing F sharp minor 11. Uh, open A with this E. Bring in C sharp. Okay. And the second pass is very much the same thing. So the first, you know, two portions, the first two uh, lines, portions, the first two lines of the melody in the verse end up yielding the same harmony for like the underlayment. If you're looking at, uh, you know, keeping some consistency and some repetition happening, I mean, we can harmonize the melody any number of different ways, but it's going to start to stretch a little bit too much. 
So as we go into the next section, all y'all, let's go into the B section now. We're gonna walk up A, B, C sharp. Okay? And now this chord's a little bit tricky, but I'm playing F sharp, open A, F sharp, C sharp. All right? So we start off by sounding four notes. Okay? Bring the pinky back. Abandon the first finger, come down to A. Here, this is definitely a stretch. Most people don't like it, but I love this. Um, no booing. I'm just letting you guys know ahead of time. If you boo this chord, come on! It's awesome. What are you talking about? You guys would know a good chord. I'm just kidding. Everyone's different, right? All right, fine. All right. So now that we've all had a chance to kind of open our minds a little bit and not boo me uh, when I play this chord the next time. D major. Alright, so this chord is still D major. Everyone, you're like, this is D, this is D. That's D, that's D, that's D, 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 D. How about some inversions now? D, D. Anyway, they're everywhere. So when you look at this, don't be like, oh, that's not a D chord. It's a D chord, it's still the same notes. It's F sharp, uh, open A, open D, A, D. So, D major. Walking down the scale. D, C sharp, B, A. People and things. Now I'm bringing F natural for the bass note of a uh, first inversion D minor chord. Now, a D9 chord, first inversion. Can you say? Fine. Uh, F sharp, A, D, A, C. And the melody is going to go C, uh, C, B, A, B, A. As part of, you know, uh, as part of the underlying harmony, though. So, Melody by itself. Now with the chords. You dig? Back to the intro. I hope you had a chance to enjoy this lesson just a little bit. Plan on seeing the solo part played by George Martin at half speed, sped up for the record, but performed real time on the guitar next week. Oh, it's going to be a good time. All right, everybody, be good to each other. Please enjoy In My Life. <laughs>